some recent evidence suggests that maybe our theory that moons form after planets isn't universally correct. And this comes in the, uh, the example of Titan, uh, Saturn's moon that's famous for its liquid methane lakes and, and all over it. This was uh, found in a combined NASA and ESA funded study that maybe the the, pl the Titan didn't form from the, the warm disk surrounding the infant Saturn, but maybe independently. Well, we've been looking at Titan a lot because it's one of the only other things in our solar system that has nitrogen. Or it's an a interesting planet, or oh, not planet, planet's moon, as we've, it's been on cos uh, Cosmos a lot. Right, so yeah. ni the nitrogen is what we're looking at. And we're looking at the specific isotopes of nitrogen on that moon and determine that that their age of decay or combination, or I forgot the exact wording, well, okay. but they're, so the they're older than, they're, they're they didn't have enough time within the age of our solar system to get to that level. So we're looking at nitrogen-14 and nitrogen-15. Nitrogen-14 right. has seven protons, seven neutrons. Uh, nitrogen-15 has seven protons, eight neutrons. What? So yeah. uh, the way that we're able to... Be all elements have so <laughs> a whole... Son of a bitch. Certain numbers of known isotopes uh, and variants of that element of protons and neutrons, but it's a, it's a crucial diagnostic tool. It's uh, So the amount of one isotope isotope relative to another isotope is closely tied to the conditions under which planets form, and they found that those conditions were more closely related to what would be found from the Oort cloud, the, the icy Oort cloud, more so than Saturn's warm atmosphere. This makes sense, because Titans are older than the gods of Saturn's era. So that's that. Now that, you're going for, to mythology. Yeah. Well, it's not mythology. I'm. That's my religion oh, is Greek mythology okay. and <laughs> in and how it relates sure. to to Roman mythology. By that time, they got it right. Um, so yeah. So this Ro it makes sense that the Titans are older than the Roman god Saturn. Mm -hmm. um, it's like an uncle moon. <laughs> yeah, so the, the, the new idea is that Titan formed in the Oort cloud, much like a comet would, and then eventually got caught by Saturn. Right. And, and actually, uh, Titan, comets, and Earth have similarities. So this has implications as to maybe how Earth was formed, directly relating to us, selfish. That's so dope, except that the, yeah, the gas, the liquid that makes up the, the lakes on Titan is like a liquid fart. Yes, because it's methane. It's like if you had li if you farted liquid, that would be Titan. It's like a shark so, planet. Thank that's you, interesting Brett. to me. That's that's the kind of science that I'm really into. It appeals to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like you could light that place on fire if it had. Well, oxygen. there's also suggestions that Earth and Titan's nitrogen must have been pretty different. So no what fart planet for us. Oh. Sorry, Brett, no fart planet. I like that idea. You know, we should ask it some questions, and I think that's kind of what they're doing. I mean, really, that's like... Ask it some questions, The colloquial like... version of what they're doing is like they, oh, you're older than the solar system. You're older than, than the planet you go around. Let's ask you, let's go do some investigation to find out what life was like. It is like having an older uncle. You'd be like, what was, what was it like in the war? What was it like before dot matrix printers? That is exactly what the Cassini mission is doing. <laughs> All right, so it looks like we may have some new insight on how Earth was formed. Tie it to the selfish angle again. Uh, what do you think of this? Please let us know what you think below in the comments. Please be sure to subscribe and please check out our Facebook page.